Hi guys, it's the Landscape App here, bringing you the 2011 Christmas Heaven Guide. Enjoy! This heaven starts at the Wizard's Tower, it's just south from Draenor Village. So, from Draenor Village, you have to head south and through the bridge, and here you go. Speak to Wizard uh, Sinterklaas, and uh, he will let you start the quest or the event. Hit yes, um, just skip through the conversation, he has nothing important to say. So, yep, hop through the portal. Now here you have to speak to Wizard Sedridor, who's in da um, danger because he didn't really prepare for the Christmas event yet, so you have to help him in four tasks, I believe. Now he will tell you what to help with. So the four tasks are to find the imps all around the wizard's tower, and you have to help to cook the food, the Christmas pudding, and you have to make the basement Christmassy by um, making it all snowy, and that's all the task. No, then the last task is in the um, attic by helping the um, fairy wizard lady. So he has a pretty long conversation going on. Just skip through it by hitting spacebar which is the new update, which just got released a week ago or so. It's really handy now. Mm, he's now speaking about the wizard fairy lady. Oh, it's just a pretty long one. Okay, here you go. The, um, you can ask about the task, Isidore's task and all the other ones now. So head down to the basement for the first task. The first task is the hardest but it's still pretty simple. So speak to him. Now I will s speed up this part because it takes a long time but it's really easy to understand so I will tell you how to do it and I believe it's the same for everyone. So, uh, once again, skip through the conversation, and here we go. He will tell you that you have to place these emitters, which give snow all around the place. And he will tell you the rules. Where can you put one, where ca can't you? So basically you can't put two ones um, next to each other that will shoot at each other. But he won't tell you to do that. So here he shows the examples, the weak spots. Where can you can where can you put three or one or two? So here we go. Just follow what I do because it's the same for everyone. It's, I did it on my first try, so you, you can do it on your first try too. It's a pretty easy one. As you can see there are some weak spots where you can't um, put a snow emitter. The numbers indicate the squares where you can put a snow emitter. So when you are done with this one, 
you have done the first task. Congratulations. Now for the second task. Um head to the kitchen and speak to Chris. He tells you speak to the other goblin. So speak to Kringle. Then we are going to cook with a cannon, so this is pretty epic. But he tells you to speak to Chris <laughs> again. So speak to Chris, and he will tell you what do you need to collect. Five ingredients. Five enchanted uh, Christmas puddings, two dragon eyes, two demon claws, and a Christmas spirit. Okay, so you have to get the jar from him. And that's the one thing you have to do. And then to collect the uh, uh, five enchanted Christmas puddings, you see all these barrels and pots all over the room here in the kitchen. You have to see whenever it jumps and click on it, like it did now, and you will get a Christmas pudding. You have to do this five times until you get it. It can be tricky if you're not playing on. Uh, resizable and HD because you can't see all the puddings but you'll get it alright that's four and there's five now if you got these ingredients you can always um, give it to Chris so that you've done this part for the second part you have to get the dragon eyes um, head up from the basement on the ladder head up the stairs and then there's Triborn you have to speak to him for the dragon eyes he will say certainly or not. Just say anything. I said, look over there, a thing you not so. It's just pretty random. Uh, he looks away, and you can get it. Two dragon eyes for you. I love the idea how you <laughs> distracted him. Okay. Um, You've got the dragon eyes. Now head upstairs for the uh, demon claws. You don't have to speak to this fairy wizard just yet. So okay, here um, you have to speak to wizard Miss Gog. Um, he has the broken one for you. You can get it for free. So, yep, that's the other ingredient. And then sp speak to this wizard right here about Timmy's claws. Timmy is the greater demon, by the way. <laughs> he got a name, which is very nice of Jag is thinking about these things. And then you've annoyed Timmy, so he, the, his claws are stuck on the cage, and you get them. Now you have to annoy him in this part by uh, doing emotes in front of the cage or um, getting things from his um, playing chest. Now for the get the snowball, definitely use the snowball on Timmy and throw it at him. That will annoy him. There are some things in the video that's not right, so keep trying until you get Timmy's Angel level on the maximum. Some emotes will annoy him, some won't.
when you go to the anger level on 100% he will give you his claws now you've got all the ingredients you need so head down to the basement in the basement talk to Chris again give him all the ingredients you have so far Timmy's claws, the wand and the dragon eyes now I didn't know what to do with the jar but it's very simple just use the jar on any any other person playing roundscape just three random person just use it on them and you will get the Christmas spirit use the jar on anybody it's third full then use it on another person two thirds full and use it on the last person and it's full so yep speak to him again Christmas spirit now you're done speak to Kringle now you're going to cook with the dwarf cannon <laughs> pretty nice one check it out but before you cook with the dwarf cannon you have to put the ingredients in it which is there's an order he tells order he tells you to do but just you ha only have to right click the cannon uh, with the all the ingredients like I do so right here don't forget to get your spice in the barrel right there um, go to the cannon and use the ingredients randomly on it if it's wrong he will tell you that it's wrong so try another one for the bottom it goes the Christmas puddings goes on the bottom then you go with the demon claws the dragon eyes the spice and the Christmas spirit and now speak to Kringle again when you loaded the cannon and of course hit yes you want to watch him cook <laughs> he just gets pwned by the cannon splashes food all over the place and check this one out whoa so when you are done with this part speak to Kringle again for finishing up this task he what is what are you talking about he asks what he cooked is perfect <laughs> looking awesome on the wall so yep you're done with this part the cooking part now for the third part you have to have head upstairs head upstairs and speak to the fairy lady just on the second floor fairy wizard lady she's in danger because the Christmas decorations are all gone wild so you have to help her collect it this is the easiest task by the way in the whole event so it won't be hard I will explain what to do press yes we are sure I will just remember to pick up whatever she drops from the crate it's very easy 
there she goes oh she dropped something so just follow her and pick it up or grab it all the things don't forget anything and make sure you are as fast as possible then when you got the, all the things grabbed it all she will thank it and you are what done with this part of the event and for what I believe is the last part you have to talk to this guy on the second floor again speak to him in long conversation along with wizard Miss Gog so they are arguing about the summoning skills of White's egg but just skip through it it's ridiculously long and boring I will tell you that you have to find four imps hiding all around the place and, and I will tell you the exact location where they are at because they are the same for everyone as far as I know as you can see it's a really wrong conversation come on finish okay now you're done now I didn't know what to do but the first imp is on the first floor of the tower just um, right I will show you in a minute just I'm noobing around all here playing the piano and searching in the bed but no it's in that bed right there the imp's legs are visible so just click on it click through the chat box and you've got the first imp now for the second imp you have to head downstairs to the library and he's right there in the bookcase over there just click it click through the checkbox again and that's the second imp for the third imp it's right outside in the oak tree in the southern one right here once again click through the chat box done you've got Miss Gog's hat so and the last one I had a little trouble with but it's in the pond or the fountain so once again for the last time click through the chat box and you're done head back to the second floor that's the last part okay when you've done this head back to Sedridor or whatever his name is on the bottom floor and yep Sedridor so you've done the event click yes and watch the cutscene